Hey. Hola. Hola. We're on uh, Playa La Saladita, north of Tronconas, for uh, an evening. We're going to spend the night here. We've never been up here for the evening. We've only come up to, uh, to take our friend, Kim. She wanted to do a surf lesson, so we came up last year and uh, did a video about that. Um, but thought it'd be cool just to show the whole beach uh, for anybody who's thinking about coming up for a longer visit than a couple hours. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah, we found a place really easily. We walked in, found a place that via is Jacqueline. And yeah. Here you go. Here's the beach during the day. Saladita Noches. <laughs> This is Playa Saladita, definitely a surfers and probably people that like yoga, paradise for them. Younger crowd. Yeah, it's a younger crowd, a lot of people with even babies. Yeah, families, yeah. like yeah. younger families out families. here, like our age, maybe families. Yeah, our age. There's older people too, but it's, it's definitely geared towards a younger demographic. I've seen probably more women surfers than men surfers. Way more. Yeah, a lot more and uh, they surf all day. I mean, we went out this morning at 7 a.m. There was probably already 100 people out there surfing. Yeah, there's way more than that now. It's really early. The whole area is blowing up. I mean, as far as like construction, there's gotta be 20 or 30 different construction projects going on right now. A lot of sustainable, eco-friendly 
Yeah, they have some cargo container, a little surf shack. Yeah, like the shipping containers, they turn into homes. Uh, the building, like, kind of some sort of, like, uh, the Tienda thing? Yeah, the Tienda yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, they said it was a Tienda, but, I mean, it looks like it's, I mean, they have, like, a coffee little bar set up. They have, I think, just a bar bar, and it's going to be a restaurant, and it's a huge outdoor area with grass. It's yeah. beautiful. Not finished. Yeah, not quite finished, but uh, here's some of that video of it, and, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, it feels like it's kind of a private club almost. It's kind of hard to figure out you know how to find a place to book there's a few places on airbnb and there's a few that have websites but we just showed up and talked to a couple people and they walked us around to some of the places until we finally found uh this place that we're staying at uh jacqueline's yes yeah via's jacqueline and she couldn't take a credit card so we're gonna have to wire her the the money when we get home but uh yeah but yeah but it's good not a ton of places to eat we ate at loot last night and they had music and uh it was pizza night and there's paco's tacos paco's tacos yeah. and but then there's a couple other ones i can't remember the name's oli i think oli. where we stopped and had beers and then benny's, benny's is where we had breakfast yeah yeah there's pretty limited options but uh i think for sure if you like surfing or you're into yoga i mean this you would love this place it's pretty awesome uh the beach is great if um, you're not into those things you may still enjoy it but uh it's probably not as geared towards you yeah but if you just like the beach and you want to come sit out and relax and read a book and not have any distractions that's this is the place because yeah. there isn't it's not like ziwa where you know you have centro and you have stuff to do all the time you're just yeah. pretty much relaxing out yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it's only maybe 45 minutes from Zihuatanejo, so uh, that's our pitch for uh, for this town, Saladita, and fine. yeah, it's fine. It. So uh, yeah, all right. We'll see you back in Zihuatanejo. Bye. Bye.